ain't gonna get no help up in here. But now that I have told you my scriptures for today, I just like to take you down memory lane. Memory lane wants to stop by Job's house. The Bible says that Job was a God fearing man. Nothing could get to Job any kind of way. Job had everything he wanted. He had two servants for his wife. Help me, somebody. He had all the cattle he wanted. He had uh, help me somebody uh, but the Bible declares uh, that one day as the angels of the Lord uh, appeared before God uh, Satan appeared as well uh, well the Bible says uh, that God asked Satan uh, he said where do you come from uh, Satan said I've been going to and fro in the earth uh, well God said if this is so uh, have you considered my servant Job uh, uh, he said yes I've considered your servant Job but I can I touch him when you have a guard over his life? See, that's just what I like about God. When you do good things to good folk, God puts a guard around you. Uh, but God, but God replied to Satan. He said, yes, 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 yes. He said, you can do anything to Job, but take his life. And that's exactly what Satan did. Satan took everything Job had. And the Bible declared that he got so much uh, that the flesh was coming off his fingers. Uh, uh, help me somebody. Uh, but, but then it says Job lay on his bed of affliction. Uh, his wife came and said, why don't you just curse your God and die? Uh, uh, but see, this is what I like about Job. Uh, Job knew that God was a God of repentance. Uh, and Job knew that God would show up at any time to show up. And he looked at his wife and said, why do you talk so foolish? Uh, he said, don't God slay me. But see, this is the thing I don't get about Satan. Now, Satan looked God in the face. He said, if hey, I do this, I believe Job will curse you to your face. But see, this is what I like about Job. Job said, God has given things and God has taken them away. And not will I curse God to his face, but I will curse the day I was born. See, a lot of us don't understand that. Uh, we're too busy blaming God uh, when we need to be blaming ourselves. Uh, God has a purpose for everything. Uh, help me, somebody. So, so, so Job, Job was on his bed of affliction and Job was sick in his body. Uh, but yet and still, Job said, I'm going to wait uh, until my change comes. Uh, I'm going to hold on to God and change your hand. In about the 42 uh, 40, 40 second, uh, chapter of Job, God showed up uh, and he gave him everything. Uh, of course, he couldn't get his children back uh, because Satan had came in and killed them. Uh, but everything that Job wanted, uh, he got it back. Uh, and that led me, me to know uh, that we serve a mighty, mighty God. Our uh, second lead memory lane uh, wants to stop you by the three Hebrew boys. Uh, the Bible declares uh, that these three Hebrew boys, uh, uh, the king uh, got this big statue and he, and he had this big old trumpet and the trumpet said, when the alarm sounds, you must bow down to the king. Uh, oh, well, the alarm sounded. Uh, uh, but, but, but the three Hebrew boys said, uh, we will not serve you in this land. Uh, see, this is what I like about God. Uh, no, God has chosen a few folk uh, that even though the world it's going like it is. Uh, they still got up in their mind uh, that for God they'll live uh, and for God they'll die. Uh, God still has a few folk uh, just like Ruth uh, saying if I perish uh, let me perish uh, because I'm going to see the king. Uh, the three Hebrew boys were praising God uh, and when the alarm sounded uh, the people were looking at them where they weren't bowing down they were just praising God lifting up God's holy name so the people went back and told the king they said king you have sounded the alarm uh, but these three Hebrew boys Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego uh, are not bowing down uh, he said go get them uh, so they went to get them and he said did the alarm sound again uh, and you do not bow down uh, you will be put in a fire and furnace uh, hotter than anything on earth uh, well, this is what I like about the three Hebrew boys. Uh, they kept on praising their God, uh, saying, I will not bless you uh, in this manner. Uh, for God, I live, uh, and for God, I'll die. Uh, and see, this led me to know, uh, as the story progresses, uh, the Bible declares that as they 
were in the furnace. Yes, sir. The king went back to check on them. Uh -huh. And he realized uh, that the shackles on their feet had been broken. Yes, sir. Uh, he realized that the bandages on their arm had been untied. And he noticed that not only three stood in the furnace, uh, but four stood in the furnace. Uh, what a mighty God we serve. Uh, Memory Lane wants to shop you by the woman with the issue of blood. Uh, uh, before I tell the story, let's get the story straight. Uh, a lot of people say this story incorrectly. Uh, they say this woman had 12 issues of blood. Uh, well, the Bible does not declare, declare that she had 12 issues of blood. Uh, the Bible says she had one issue of blood uh, for 12 years. Uh, uh, so, so as Jesus was, was in, in the in the place, uh, the woman tried to make her way through. Uh, excuse me, let me get through. I got to meet Jesus. Uh, if I could just touch the hand. Yeah, yeah. 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 But you notice know she didn't say uh, if I could touch him. Uh -huh. Amen. Well, oh my God. She said if she could touch something that was touching Jesus. Yeah. See, sometimes you gotta hang around some folk that's touching Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. To touch him yourself. Yeah. But when you're hanging around some saved and sanctified, yeah. some folks that got the Holy Ghost down on the inside, yeah. not those backside yeah. folk. I'm talking about some true living for God folk. Yeah. And they're touching Jesus. Uh -huh. Sooner or later, what they got is going to rub off on you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my, my, my God. So, so last she went through the crowd. Uh, yes, sir. Jesus had his back turned uh, and as she touched him, uh, Jesus turned around and said, who touched you? Yeah. Amen. The disciples spoke out. He said, you're around all these people and you're asking who touched you? Yeah. Jesus said, this touch was different. Uh -huh. I felt the virtue when it left my body. Yeah. Uh, the woman with the issue of blood spoke out. It was I who touched you. Uh, he said, your faith. Yeah. Notice this thing. He didn't touch her and say, you are made whole. He said, your faith mm -hmm. has yeah. made you whole. Yeah. See, sometimes you gotta realize yeah. that it's not always about touching. Uh -huh. It's not always about physical. Uh -huh. But when you have the faith of a mustard yeah. seed, yeah. that you tell the mountain to move, yeah. and the mountain shall move. Uh, oh. When you have that faith that the Hebrew writer said, uh, that faith is the substance of things hopeful. Uh, yeah. and the some things not seen. Now, when you have that type of faith, uh, then your faith can make you a uh, See, a lot of us can't be delivered because we ain't got no faith. A lot of us can't get our healing that we want because we have no faith. And then for those of us who have faith, we don't want to pray. And those of us who want to pray, we don't have any faith. Well, I come to tell you today that if you don't have both, you're short. Help me, somebody. So, so as he told her, your faith uh, have made you all. This led me to know we serve a mighty God. Yeah, yeah. So when folk talk about you, uh -huh. when folk scandalize your name, uh, when folk call you everything but a child of God, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, we serve a mighty God. Uh, when your back's against the wall, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, we serve a mighty God. On your track, don't worry about it. We serve a mighty God. When the foreclosure sign is on your front door, don't worry about it. We serve a mighty God. When you can't pay your bills, don't worry about it. We serve a mighty God. When it seems like the devil has got your children, don't worry about it. We serve a mighty God. When it seems like all hell is broke loose in your home, don't worry about it. We serve a mighty God. Oh my, my, my God. Jesus is the God uh, we serve. Uh, and the Bible declares, uh, at the name of Jesus, uh, it is sought to tremble. Uh, the Bible declares, uh, at the name of Jesus, uh, things start to happen. Uh, the Bible declares, uh, at the name of Jesus, uh, bodies start to be healed. Uh, the Bible declares, uh, at the name of Jesus, uh, minds start to be delivered. Uh, the Bible declares, uh, at the name of Jesus, uh, Start to be set free. The Bible declares at the name of Jesus, enemies had to back up. 